Hey guys, Nemo here. I'm gonna be making a video about my crossfire settings and showing you some of the equipment that I use. Okay, so for my resolution in game, I'm using 800 times 600, and that's stretched. So I'm not playing with black bars. I'm playing stretched, where you can see the game taking up the whole screen. I'm playing with 32-bit on the color. Uh, people say that if you use 16-bit, it helps you see through smokes more, but in tournaments, you're not allowed to use 16-bit. I haven't played in any tournaments yet, but who knows, maybe one day, so I'm keeping it on 32-bit. My texture is on high because I have good FPS, so I don't really need to take it down to low. But uh, if you guys are getting a lot of FPS drops, just put that on low. So for the effects, I have this on high, I have blood effects on, bullet trails, you want this on, so keep that on yes, so you can see where your shots are uh, going when you're shooting at enemies. For weather effects, I have this turned off, there's not really any need to have it turned on because uh, it, it's just going to get in the way on some maps. And as for the character enhancement, I've got it off. So you can copy these settings. So all, all of these buttons, I haven't really changed anything here, so you don't need to look at this. My mouse sensitivity is 5, and my zoom sense is 28. For my mouse DPI, I use 400, and like I already showed you, 5 in-game. And uh, the acceleration, it's on 0, there's no need to have this on. For my pulling rate, I'm using 125. On Crossfire, you want to use 125 pulling rate because it doesn't support anything higher than 125. If I'm playing other games like CSGO, I usually play on 500 and 1000 is also fine for CSGO, but I just stay with 500 for CS. But on Crossfire, you need to play on 125 otherwise when you're when you're aiming left and right it's not going to be accurate it's going to be all wavy so just make sure you have it turned on 125 okay so for my window sense i have six and uh, when you go to mouse properties you want to turn this off enhance pointer precision i said that so weirdly but yeah turn that off that basically gets rid of mouse XL. It's not really good to use mouse XL in FPS games, so yeah, just check that off. I just want to talk a little bit about mouse sensitivity again. So as you know by now, I'm playing 400 DPI and 5 in-game. A few years back, I used to play a lot higher, especially when I was first playing Crossfire. I was playing with some crazy high sensitivity uh, then I turned it down but it was still very very fast and then I found out that most pro players and good players they're playing with a quite a slow sensitivity I was good when I was using a fast sensitivity but when I found out that pros are using a slower sensitivity I lowered my sense down and down a bit more. Each week I lowered it by two until I got down to six and I played on six for a very long time and then I lowered it to five and that seems to be best for me. You can't just jump straight down from a really fast sensitivity to a slow sense otherwise well your aim's gonna be very weird so take it down gradually most of the pro players on Crossfire, they seem to either be playing with 800 DPI and 0 in-game. I've tried that, I was pretty good with it, but I figured out that it's not for me. And the other common one is 4 with 400 DPI, this one's also very good. But since I like to snipe and use a rifle, this one is still a little bit slow for me, so 5, it's good. I also want to say that if you copy my settings, don't expect 
to start playing better you need to practice and play a lot if you want to improve but just keep in mind about the sensitivity if you're playing too high maybe you have a small mouse pad that's why you're playing with a fast sensitivity in that case if you want to try out a slower sensitivity maybe purchase a bigger mouse pad that's what I had to do because there's no way you can play on a slow sense like that with a small mouse pad it's not gonna work so yeah copying my settings it might not make you better but you can try it and see for yourself but if you're already used to something maybe stay like that but just practice more a good way to practice your aim is playing a lot of headshot mode or free for all or even playing in scrims or ranked it's good to play in scrims against people who are better players than you or even in headshot mode if you're on the right server there's going to be some good players in there when I first started out I was getting fucking wrecked and I kept at it, I kept playing obviously you can't play good every single game even if you're a good player everyone has a bad game but just stick at playing these modes and your aim's gonna improve. This is my mouse and mouse pad. The mouse is a Razer Death Adder Chroma from 2014. And this mouse pad is actually new. It's a HyperX Fury S and it's large. Yeah, you can see how, how big the mouse pad is. You need a big mouse pad if you're playing slow sense, like I said. There's my keyboard. It's a Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition. I got that for around £60 in my money. I'm from the UK, so yeah, not too bad. And this is my headset. It's a HyperX headset. Very, very good for hearing footsteps and in game sounds, of course. Before this, I've used a Razer headset and this one is way better so here's my monitor I'm just joining a random game so you can see how it looks I'll put the name of this monitor on screen it's a 144Hz monitor I used to play with a 60Hz monitor before when I was a good player and when I switched to this monitor I couldn't really feel the difference but now if I switch back to 60 hertz, then it feels very weird, even though I could still play with it, but... 144 hertz monitor is definitely better. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll answer you.